Hi guys, uh, today we're going to see how we how we can do SMS settings using Sedena. For that, you can go to administration and here we'll find settings. We can click on that. This video is the continuation of other workflows that we've been putting in uh, support.sedena.com and we have done all these settings here. So today we're going to see how to do SMS uh, settings. So this is the SMS settings that uh, link that you need to open. And here you will, if you want to enable sending SMS from Sedina, you can tick this application and click on update. So when you do this, it is going to show you some um, features here. So it, it is telling here that when all SMS will be sent from Fedina to the users. So the first four uh, ticks that you see here, these are automatic SMS sending from Fedina. What does it mean? It means that whenever a student is admitted uh, into Fedina, automatic SMS will be sent from uh, Fedina to the student as well as the parent of the student if their mobile numbers are uh, given while uh, uh, adding them. Similarly, exam if the exam is scheduled using Fedina and the result is published using Fedina, the corresponding users are going to get uh, notified. Similarly, for attendance and events. So, this, these four are the places where, uh, you know, automatic SMS will be sent from uh, Fedina to the users. And then if you want to manually send the SMS, you can tick this, which is send SMS to parents, send SMS to uh, students and send SMS to employees. So this would allow the users, uh, the users who have admin, who have uh, SMS privilege or the administrator himself to send SMS to either parents, students or employee. So when you are doing this, you will see some links will uh, come in uh, SMS module. Earlier, there was only SMS settings. And now we can send SMS to students, to batches, employees, departments of the employees. And we can send SMS to all, uh, all the users of Fedina, be it parents, students, or employees. And we can even see the SMS logs. So let, let me take an example of how you can manually send an SMS to student. So you need to select the batch. And uh, let me select a batch which has some students. Uh, so this is a batch which has some students. And you can select all or none of them. And you can write the message here and you can click on send SMS. Now the students who have a mobile number will be appearing here. The rest of them will be dimmed. So uh, if the students are having mobile number when they are admitted, uh, so the mobile number field is filled, only those students will be, you will be able to send the SMS. Similar is the case with, you know, you can send SMS to batches. So the full batch, so I can select the batch and I can write the message and can send it. Similarly, for the employees, we can uh, do the same thing for the employees. And uh, then we have employee department. So your message can be particular to a department, the departments that we've created for the employees. And then it, it can be common to all. So it will just give you this field. When you do send SMS, it will send SMS to all the users who are in Fedina. And you can even view the SMS log. So, you know, what is the SMS that was sent? Was it sent correctly or not? So you can click on the SMS and you can see whether the SMS was sent correctly or not. Now, the first important thing here to notice is that you will be able to send SMS from Fedina only when your in your SAS count, SMS settings are done properly. That is a precondition or the prior requirement of uh, being able to use the SMS module. So we will, be, we will also be coming up with a video of how to do SMS settings. Uh, you know, we'll just be showing a demo on how to do SMS settings in your SaaS account so that you are able to use um, SMS feature uh, in Fedina. So be tuned in for more videos. Um, uh, thanks for your time.